Okay, the intention of this video is to help you gain an understanding of how you can solve for the area of a regular polygon when you are given limited information. For example, if you are not given the length of the apothem and you only have the side length of the polygon. So, um, first off, I want you to understand this concept of having these polygons inscribed in a circle because that's going to help you understand how to find the angle in the triangle that is created in all of these shapes. And let me draw a picture to try and help you understand what I'm talking about. So, the um, what you want to look at is the center of each of these shapes and I'm just drawing a uh, like my best estimate of the center of these <clears throat> and the apothem is going to be the distance from the center of the polygon to one of the sides and it's going to be perpendicular right here so that's going to create a 90 degree angle so let me draw that for all of these polygons so this would be the apothem the distance from the center to a side um, and it's going to be perpendicular All right, and if you notice, it doesn't matter which side you go to since a regular polygon is going to be equal lateral and equal angular. So um, when you're looking at the central angle of the triangle, what I was talking about would be this triangle. Um, when you're creating a triangle from the center and then to the sides of the um, polygon. So like like this. And I'm going to draw the other ones a little bit differently just so you can see all of these triangles will be, um, it doesn't have to necessarily, I'm just drawing them a little bit differently. So what you're doing is you're going from any, um, you're taking any side and then you're drawing a triangle connecting that side to the center of the polygon. So to figure out the measure of the angle on the inside, and you know what would have been better is if I didn't have, let me pause it, I'm gonna erase what I did and I wanna get rid of the, the blue apothem lines that I drew. All right, I went ahead and got rid of the, uh, the blue lines that I created. So um, I'm just showing you one of the triangles that you can create. For example, if I'm looking at the top left at the triangle, equilateral triangle over here, that would actually create three triangles on the inside. And then if I'm looking over here at the square, that would create four triangles. And then with the pentagon right here, that would create five triangles. So um, what you would do in order to find the measure of one of these angles is you would take 360 degrees, since that's the, um, the amount of degrees in a complete circle, and you would divide by the number of sides. So for example, for this equilateral triangle, this tiny, oh well, actually it's quite large, it's an obtuse angle. This angle right here is 360 divided by 30, which gives us 120 degrees. So that's the measure of the central angle that we're using whenever we're um, looking to find the apothem. So then here, this is going to be 360 degrees divided by 4, and then that gives us 90 degrees. So this is actually creating a 90 degree angle. 
Um, and then we would follow this same pattern. So 360 degrees divided by 5 is going to give us 72 degrees right here. And then 360 degrees divided by 6 will give us a central angle of 60 degrees. And then uh, this one's a little bit differently only because um, 360 doesn't go 7... 360 is not easily divided by 7, so that's going to give us about 51.429 uh, oops, goofy looking 9 degrees, and um, that's this angle right here. So I rounded that number just because it's not easily divisible by 7. And then we can divide 360 by 8, and that's going to give us 45 degrees right here. So that's 45 degrees. All right, now <clears throat> I want to talk to you about what the apothem is. So the apothem is the distance from, and I know I've, I've already sort of covered this a little bit, the apothem is going to be the distance from the center of the polygon to any of the sides, but it has to be perpendicular to the side. So it's creating that 90 degree angle. And um, the reason that the apothem is important is because we need to use the apothem when we're calculating the area for a regular polygon. The area formula is one half of the apothem times the capital letter P. So this is the apothem and the capital letter P here represents the perimeter of the polygon. So let me go ahead and give you two examples. So here's our first example that we're going to look at. First it says find the area of the regular hexagon with a side length of 8 inches. So here's a hexagon. And if you remember from the first slide that we were looking at, if it has six sides, we would do 360 divided by 6, which gives us a 60-degree angle. So right here, this angle is 60 degrees. Now, what we're looking at right now doesn't tell us what the apothem is. The apothem would be from the center to the side, creating a perpendicular angle. So what I would do is I would cut this triangle that I just created in half. So let me kind of draw a new triangle out to the side so you can see what we're looking at. And I'll go ahead and keep that side green just so that you can understand that that represents the apothem. So I'll put the letter A right here. So because we are taking half of that triangle, that means that instead of having this side length of 8 right here, it's going to be 4 inches because we just cut it in half. And then uh, similar to how we just bisected the length of that side, we're also bisecting the angle at the top. So this is no longer 60 degrees right here, this angle is 30 degrees. So what we could use here is the special right triangle, the 30, 60, 90 triangle, to solve for the apothem, or you could also use trig. So um, that's up to you. I'm going to show you by using the special right triangle since on the next example that I'm doing I will use trig. So the relationship that we see with a 30, 60, 90 triangle, where this is our 30, 60, 90 degree angles, we see that the side opposite from the 30 degree angle, let's call that x. Whatever x is, I could use that value to calculate the side opposite from the 60 degree angle by multiplying it by the square root of 3. 
and then I can solve for the hypotenuse by taking the value of the angle opposite from the 30 degree angle and multiplying that by 2. So we see this relationship here. So then if I know the side opposite from the 30 degree angle, in our case, is 4 inches, I could use the 4 inches to solve for the apothem, since it would have to be opposite from the 60 degree angle. So like right here, I know that the hypotenuse is going to be 8 inches, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the apothem, which is across from the 60 degree angle. So according to our relationship, that's going to be 4 times the square root of 3. All right, so let's go back to our picture so we can kind of see what information we have. We now know that the apothem right here is 4 times the square root of 3. So now we have enough information in order to solve for the area. So the area, let me do that in a different color. So the area formula that we're using is 1 half times the apothem times the perimeter. So our apothem is 4 times the square root of 3. You can put that in parentheses if you want. And we're multiplying that by the perimeter. So the perimeter would be the distance around the entire polygon. Since it's a hexagon, it has six sides. So our perimeter that we're going to use is 48. Now I'm going to simplify it ahead of time before I um, get my final answer. So half of 4 is 2. So really this is 2 times the square root of 3 times 48. 48 times 2 is 96. So there's multiple ways that you could write your answer. If you wanted to leave it with the square root intact, you could write 96 times the square root of 3, and that's going to be inches squared inches. Or if you wanted to go ahead and multiply by the square root of 3, you're going to get a final answer of about 166.27 square inches as your final answer. So both of these would be correct depending on the directions that are given to you. And actually this is, sorry, I was going to write another 7 here. That's going to round to about 166.277. Okay, let's look at um, the last example that I have for you. This picture, we're looking at a pentagon. So it says find the area of a regular pentagon with a side length of 6 feet. So we want to solve for the apothem, just like how um, I did it on the other picture. So if we create this triangle by connecting one of the sides to the central angle, we're going to get a central angle of, if you remember um, on the first slide, since this is a pentagon, we would divide by 5. So this angle is going to be 72 degrees. All right, um, let's write it right here, 72 degrees. However, what we need in order to calculate for the area, we're going to need to know what the apothem would be. So the apothem is going to be from that center to the side, but it's going to be perpendicular to the side. So it has to be that length right there. Now let me go ahead and create another triangle, again, off to the side, just so that you can see what it is that we're looking at. And I'll, again, make the apothem this green color. So uh, what's different about the way that we're solving this one is we're going to have to use trig since it's not um, an easy 30, 60, 90, or a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So since we bisect the side, that means I have a side length of 3 feet. And we're also going to bisect the angle. So instead of being 72 degrees, that's going to be 31 degrees. 
So um, you want to ask yourself, what trig function should I use? So we have to review SOHCAHTOA. So if we're looking at the angle, which really you could look at any angle because you could subtract 90 minus 31 to get the other angle. Um, let me go ahead and write that angle just so that we can see. So if we were to subtract that, that would be 59 right here, right? 59 degrees. So, but let's just go ahead and use the 31 degree angle. So right here we have the opposite, and then in reference to the 31 degree angle, the apothem right here would be the adjacent side. So if we ask what trig function we would use, we would want to use tangent. So tangent of 31 degrees is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So if I want to solve, we use algebra to manipulate and solve for our variable a. We're going to get a is equal to 3 divided by tangent of 31 degrees. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and we're going to plug that into the calculator. That's going to be about 4.129. So now that we know the apothem, let me go ahead and write it in black right here. So that's 4.129. Now that we know the apothem, we can go ahead and solve for the area of this pentagon. So our area formula is 1 half apothem times the perimeter. So that's 1 half of 4.129 times the perimeter, which is going to be it's a pentagon, right? So we have five sides. That gives us a perimeter of 30. And I'm going to go ahead and simplify before I do my multiplication. So half of 30 is 15. So we would multiply 15 times 4.129. And that's going to give us about... about 61... 0.937 square feet. And I'm rounding that answer. I rounded the decimal there. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Now let's say, for example, um, and this most people probably would not require that you do this, but if you were to leave this in terms of tangent, so again, remember that this was actually... 3 over tangent of 31 degrees. You would multiply numerators, right? So 15 times 3 is 45. So that's also equivalent to 45 divided by the tangent of 31. So if you plug that into your calculator, you'll get 61.937. All right, I hope that this was helpful information. Have a great day.